not launching today. But before a rocket like this one starts launching missions to help assemble a space station in orbit around the moon, NASA is first enabling a small CubeSat called Capstone to test out that same lunar orbit. And we're taking you live to New Zealand for that Rocket Lab launch next. In less than an hour, Rocket Lab's Electron rocket will lift off from Launch Complex 1 on the Mahi uh, Peninsula in New Zealand. It's dark out there, just a few hours after sunset for our friends uh, in New Zealand, which time-wise, right after 9 p.m. local time, liftoff is 9.55 p.m. local time. That's 5.55 p.m p.m. Eastern Time, and if all goes well, that Electron rocket that you see on the pad there will light up the night sky, carrying NASA's capstone spacecraft towards the moon. Back here in Florida, thank you for joining us for live coverage of the capstone launch. I'm Daryl Nail, and as I mentioned earlier, that's NASA's moon rocket on the pad behind me with the Orion spacecraft. It's on Launch Complex 39B, and preparations are being made to roll that SLS rocket back to the vehicle assembly building on a gigantic mobile crawler, currently scheduled for Friday. But when the launcher and moon rocket return to this pad, they will be ready for Artemis 1, an uncrewed test flight on an orbit around the moon. That has yet to be scheduled. But now, back to today's mission. Before Ryan goes to the moon, we're sending Capstone first, a satellite the size of about a microwave oven, which will demonstrate a new way to guide a spacecraft around the moon without relying on Earth-based communication. Capstone stands for Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment. It's a mouthful, and here are some fast facts about it. It's a 12-unit CubeSat, and as you can see from this animation, it has solar arrays and thrusters, small ones, at the bottom. The dimensions without the arrays are just 1 by 1 by 2 feet, or 34 by 34 by 61 centimeters. And it weighs just 55 pounds, or 25 kilograms. And it doesn't need much of a push from its monopropellant hydrazine system because this orbit it's going into is very efficient. The mission is funded by the Space Technology Mission Directorate, which develops transformative space technologies to enable future missions. But first, let's get an update on preparations to launch Capstone on an Electron rocket by taking you literally halfway around the world to Rocket Lab's Mission Control Center in Auckland, New Zealand. That's where launch commentator Muriel Baker is standing by. Muriel, we're separated by 8,000 miles, so there's a little bit of a delay between us. It's not nearly as long as the time difference, though. 16 hours, you're ahead of us here on the eastern coast of the United States. But I say to you, good evening, and for us, good morning. Thanks, Daryl. That's right. Welcome to quite literally the future of space exploration. It is uh, just at T minus 51 minutes to the countdown. And here in New Zealand, I am joining you live from the Rocket Lab Mission Control Center in Auckland to take you through today's launch of the Capstone mission from our country's eastern shore of the North Island. Our Rocket Lab launch operators are making their way through the count with checks on the systems and the health of the Rocket Lab Electron Launch Vehicle and Photon Lunar Upper Stage, as well as the Capstone spacecraft integrated to Photon. All three are sitting on the pad at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1, as you can see there, on the Mahia Peninsula, from where we will launch the Electron rocket on an eastern trajectory over the South Pacific Ocean. Now, liftoff is currently scheduled for 21 55 local New Zealand time or 0955 UTC. In Eastern Daylight Time, that translates to 5.55 in the morning for you, Daryl. Sorry about that. And for Pacific Daylight Time, liftoff is scheduled to a even unfriendlier uh, 2.55 a.m. 
Our latest status update from our weather official in Mission Control reported clear skies over the launch site. The weather is nice and still this evening with the probability of violation very low, meaning we are very close to that launch liftoff. Now, over the past few hours, Rocket Lab's launch crew on the ground and in mission and range controls have been readying the launch pad with vertical and avionics checks with the rocket and have loaded Electron with its propellant types, kerosene and liquid oxygen. So right now, with just about 50 minutes left to lift off all systems, uh, go for launch, and I'm going to hand it back over to you at Kennedy, Daryl. All right, great report, Muriel. And quick question for you. Why launch from New Zealand? Daryl, if you're looking for a launch site anywhere in the world, the ideal location is an island in the middle of the ocean, which New Zealand as a country makes a great option for. And if you're going to launch east, which you would like to do because you get that free push in the same rotation of the Earth, then the east coast of New Zealand is a great place to be, and Mahia on its peninsula jutting out over into the coast is a wonderful spot because we have very little air and marine traffic, so it's really a one-in-a-million location. It certainly is, and it's incredibly gorgeous, especially during the daytime, and hopefully in the future we can show you a daytime launch as well. Well, we've got a lot of cool stuff to show you coming up in our pre-launch show, as well as some great interviews. First, we'll take a closer look at the Capstone mission itself, the very first spacecraft to fly as part of the Artemis program. Plus, we'll speak to an expert about this, the rectilinear halo orbit. What do we expect to learn, and how will we use the data? And from Capstone to Gateway, we'll talk to a NASA expert about the latest on plans for a lunar outpost where NASA astronauts will dock before going down to the surface of the moon. After liftoff, it will take about four months for Capstone to get into the near rectilinear halo orbit. Here's more on the orbit and the CubeSat six-month Pathfinder mission for the Lunar Gateway. Before NASA's Artemis astronauts go to the moon, a small spacecraft called Capstone will help lead the way. The Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment will test a unique lunar orbit that has never been flown before. This orbit will be home for NASA's Gateway, the future space outpost that will support visitors.